Hey guys, Lou here. Welcome back to Acorn Hill. The holiday baking and cooking is in full gear. And today, we are making something very traditional, very English, and something that I know you can make. It's one of our favorites, the English mincemeat pie here on Acorn Hill. Alrighty guys, first things first. If you happen to stumble into the channel and you happen to like what we are showing, don't be shy, subscribe to Acorn Hill, like our videos, and share it with your friends. You'll be glad you did. Okay, and before we start with the video, just a little historical perspective on what mince meat pie is. Mince pie is a sweet pie much similar to an empanada back home in the Philippines and with many other cultures. It's of English origin. It's filled with a mixture of dried fruit and spices called mince meat. Mince meat is a mixture of chopped dried fruits, distilled spirits and spices, and sometimes beef suet, beef, or venison. If you like mince meat pies, mine is unbelievably easy. No rolling required for the dough. My basic sweet crust is beginner friendly. All you gotta do is press the raw crumbly pastry directly into the tin for a short biscuity finish. I'll be chatting up with you guys along the video and we'll be flashing the requirements, ingredients, and some directions on the screen. But don't fret, I'll be putting the easy recipe on the description box and I'll also be putting up a few uh, videos on the card uh, right on the eye up above of the screen and you can just click on that if you're interested in viewing other videos that we are producing on Acorn Hill. Similar to what an electric mixer would do, I used my hands in mixing up the ingredients in this clip. I mixed up 375 grams of plain flour, 250 grams of softened butter, 125 grams of castor sugar or fine uh, sprinkle sugar, and one large free-range egg. After hand mixing them well, I placed in a couple of drops of water just to make sure that they all gelled together and started mashing and hand mixing them yet again. After the sweet pastry ingredients have come together as a dough, I made sure I did not overwork it. I rolled and formed it into a ball and I wrapped the pastry in cling film and set it aside to chill in the fridge while I make the filling. Next, it's time to roll out the pastry. On a floured work surface, I rolled out the pastry to a 1 8 of an inch thickness. With our wine glass as the round pastry cutter, I cut out 12 3 and a half to 4 inch discs of pastry. I then pressed the pastry into the muffin cups to make sure it has a snug fit. I had to be very careful in doing this and basically just guiding the dough as it slowly covers the entire surface of the muffin tin. Next step, filling the pastry. I filled each one with a good helping of the mincemeat mixture. I made sure it is full to the brim. Some recipes say you filled it three quarters of the way up, but for me, I like a hearty, chunky mincemeat pie, so I made sure that I packed it in slowly but fully all the way up to the top of the rim of the baking sheet. After filling all the pastry tins, I've set this tin aside. In the meantime, using a separate sheet of sweet pastry dough, I used an ordinary drinking glass with a three and a quarter inch diameter as a pastry cutter. And this is to cut pastry circles for the lids of the mincemeat pie. And it's basically elementary from here on out. I placed the lid on top of each pie and gently pushed it down to provide a good seal for each pie. 
This bake doesn't require any blind baking because the high butter and sugar content of the dough allows for it to heat up and bake really well in no soggy bottoms, which is what we like. And to keep up with the theme of this being the easiest bake that you can make, this only baked for 20 minutes. And I then transferred them carefully on a wire rack to cool. If you've never experienced homemade mincemeat pie, you don't know what you're missing. This is very easy to make. And the filling can almost be anything you really like, be it meat, a mixture of fruit and meat, or even just plain fruits. For a little American twist, how about some savory and tasty pulled pork? Or maybe pulled beef? Or better yet, some plain old grocery bought rotisserie chicken. And because I'm Filipino and I like putting Filipino spins on traditional ingredients and recipes, how about leftover menudo, leftover adobo, mechado, anything in even giniling? As they say, the possibilities are endless when it comes to making minced meat pie. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making this. We've already made two batches. It reminds us of anything English, our recent visit to London and meeting with our friends, now that we have this easy go-to when it comes to our holiday entertaining repertoire. Thanks again for joining me on this episode of Acorn Hill. This is Louis, signing off for now. Merry Christmas, and I hope you're keeping safe during this unique time that we're all experiencing. And we'll see you back here on Acorn Hill. Bye-bye for now.